Welcome to the Magic of Math, where today we're talking about translations and congruency as we translate to the right and down. We have Corinne who drew a line segment ST on a coordinate plane as shown, segment ST. Corinne will translate line segment ST four units to the right and then four units down. After the transformations, what will be the length in units of the image of the line segment ST? And put our answer in the box. Here's where I'll have you pause the video, do your best work, and then come back to see mine. Welcome back. We're talking about translating line segment ST. First, we're going to translate it four units to the right. So we're going to take all points on this line segment and we're going to go four to the right. One, two, three, four, and we can see one, two, three, four. So parallel line segments. Now the next translation is four units down. So we're going to take all points on this line segment and we're going to go four units down. One, two, three, four, and draw our line segment. And we can see that this endpoint, one, two, three, four. Now we are asked, what is the length in units of this image? So we can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units. That is the length of this line segment. I want you also to understand that our original figure, our original segment here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, is also eight. And that is very good that that happened because all translations must result in image that is congruent to the original. So the line segment, ST, and the image after this translation are both eight units long. And there you have it. That's the relationship between translations and congruency. All translations must be congruent to the original figure. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. Hope you have a great day and you come back soon.